This episode of Photonics Hot List is sponsored by Metal Arc Optics, where they take on what others won't. Challenge accepted. Hi, I'm Justine Murphy, Senior Editor of Laser Focus World, here with a peek into some of the exciting things happening in photonics. Researchers at the University of California, Santa Cruz are making significant strides toward more advanced chip-based sensing, ultimately paving the way for highly sensitive and versatile portable integrated optofluidic sensing devices that could perform a variety of medical tests involving different types of bioparticles simultaneously at different concentrations. The new work is groundbreaking, the researchers say, as conventional devices can typically focus on just one target or test at a time, given the many different forms and varying volumes of biomolecules. Using new signal processing techniques, the researchers have achieved uniform fluorescence detection of a variety of nanobead concentrations spanning eight orders of magnitude with an optofluidic chip-based biosensor. This demonstrates a sensor operating range that's more than 10,000 times more expansive. Collaborating with a team from Brigham Young University, the researchers are also working on a platform based on optofluidic chips, which are essentially optic and microfluidic pathways on a silicon or plastic chip for use in multiple types of testing and analyses. They aim to adapt their techniques as well to focus on artificial neuronal cell tissue organoids potentially allowing more comprehensive study of neurodegenerative diseases and cancers. While characterizing frequency combs, a team led by the University of Konstanz in Germany has recorded the smallest ever free-running carrier envelope offset, or CEO, line width for a fiber laser. This comes after their discovery of discrete operation points at which the CEO's frequency can drop to as low as 700 Hertz. The work has prompted design guidelines for ultra-precise femtosecond frequency combs that the researchers say could maximize the passive frequency stability of scientific measurement tasks. The new approach to develop frequency combs, which are ultra-short pulse lasers, involves a gain medium of erbium-doped fibers, allowing a bandwidth focused at a 1550 nanometer wavelength, and an oscillator based on additive pulse mode locking. The laser cavity features a nonlinear amplifying loop mirror, as well as a short free space area that includes adjustable polarization optics for sensitive alignment of the non-reciprocal phase bias. Applicable to any type of femtosecond frequency comb, the new design technique is well suited for metrology and high precision spectroscopy, and potentially time domain quantum physics. In areas such as disease detection and crime scene investigation, high image quality and clarity are crucial. And by breathing new life into a decades-old technique, researchers in India are helping ensure that. Called image inpainting, the approach provides visual restoration of missing regions of an image or video. It has become much more advanced in recent years with the progression of optics technologies, allowing it to restore an image or video seamlessly. Used by researchers from Punjab University and Chandigarh University, image inpainting can effectively digitally remove defects in pixels caused by things like noise, stains, or aging, and accurately replace them with comparable adjacent pixels. Recent advancements in the process's accuracy and efficiency are allowing the researchers to better recover missing areas of a video or digital photo, and also maintain the color and image consistency. Image inpainting has become ideal for restoring medical images that may be incomplete or affected by noise, refurbishing old films or boosting the special effects in new ones, and enhancing imagery that's part of criminal investigations. And that's your Photonics Hot List. Don't forget to like and share, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already, and visit laserfocusworld.com for the latest and coolest news and information. Until next time.